Hey everyone, this is Rachel and welcome to another scrapbooking process video. If you hang out until after the video is through, there are always detailed shots of my current layout. Let's get going! Hi everyone, today's video is featuring a layout I made at a crop back at the end of March that I went to and videotaped all of my layouts. Now, I wasn't able to uh, tape the introductions in real time, so I went ahead and pre-taped these ahead of time so I'd be able to tell you what I'm working with on this particular layout. It happens to be a mix of Dear Lizzie products going all the way back to 2012 with Lucky Charm and all the way up to some of her newer stuff, uh, up to Stargazer and Lovely Day. So that is what I'll be working with today, so let's go going and see what we're going to do. Okay, so I have already pre-pulled these papers from my little bag, Oh Dear Lizzie, simply because I knew I had two of these ampersand papers, so I thought it would work well. From the Stargazer collection, I am pulling this paper called Pretty Petals, and I'm going to be using this bird and flower side of it. So when I do two-page layouts, especially when I'm going to a crop and I'm doing them, I will often create a sketch for them myself and I just use Windows Publisher it's nothing fancy or anything but this is one where I had pre-done a sketch so when you see me putting these papers down and then putting my photos down do not think I just by magic knew exactly where they were going I am following a sketch I drew up myself so I am using that dark blue polka dot paper now that is from a paper pad but it is from lucky charm and then my background pieces are from saturday and they are called city lights now obviously lucky charm came out in like 2012 so it's not really available anymore so i didn't bother obviously this one came from a paper pad i actually do have this paper in double-sided form as well but i didn't bother showing you the name of it because i do not believe you can find this anywhere anymore so this is my main layout as it comes to paper and i do have seven photos seven or eight photos i don't remember exactly let's see let's count one two three four five six seven i have seven photos for this particular layout so this layout is basically about visiting our first disney park for this particular trip so that's what it's called um so i'm going to go ahead and get everything glued down i decided i really liked the branding strip that was on this ampersand paper this navy and white uh diagonal stripe and i decided to add that at the bottom of my paper my pattern paper grooving so I'm going to go ahead and get this down and I'm going to spend an inordinate amount of time trying to make sure these papers are lined up across 112 by 12 to another 12 by 12, which is kind of funny because <laughs> I keep my layouts in three ring binder style albums so they don't sit next to each other. So if they were a 16th or an eighth of an inch off, you're not going to notice your eye is not going to read that but for some reason i felt it was super important for me to have that be absolutely correct so you'll notice what i did is i did not put any glue on the top portion of that bird paper that way i could just slip the dark polka dot paper in behind it to line it up so that it lined up with the one on the other side if i really felt i needed to i could have gone back and then put glue underneath but the majority of my photos were going to be taped down over these papers so i didn't feel that was necessary now you'll note my nephew is five in these photos uh or six yes he's six and he is in a <laughs> a stroller i did check the weight uh, to make sure he was under the weight because I didn't want to break someone's stroller. This is, we rented a house for this particular trip and the stroller came with the house and it said it went up to 50 pounds and at the time he was only like 42. I will tell you, even though technically a six-year-old should not be in a stroller at Disney, it totally is fine. By the end of the day, they're usually exhausted and rather than carrying him around, I was perfectly happy, happy to have him go into that stroller. He was great about it. He was, he was not like, uh, strollers are for, well, at first he's kind of like, strollers are for babies. And then he was like, you know what, this kind of rocks. So <laughs> he was totally okay with it. 
So, all right, sorry, tangent. Okay, so I have that little pattern paper piece up in the top right hand corner and that was just to draw those white and the dark colors up to the top there. I am going to be using these hot air balloon die cuts and I want to say those came in lovely day but I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely either lovely day or Saturday but I don't remember which. I also have two sticker packs, one from the Saturday collection and one from the Stargazer collection, and I'm going to be pulling from those as well. Now you'll see those numbers 07 on the left hand side. I'm not going to be en ending up using those uh, simply because they blend in far too much. Now I am going to start working on my title. I grabbed this word, this, and that is from some thicker words chipboard alphas that came out with either Saturday or Lovely Day. Once again, I do not remember which. And so that's going to be the beginning of my title. And I'm going to do another part of my title with these ones called Petals. And those came out once again with either Saturday or Lovely Day. I, I have those two grouped together because I bought them around the same time. So I bought one a little bit later, and I kind of just grouped them all together because I didn't buy a huge amount of either. So I do decide to use the numbers from the Petals Alpha uh, to date it, even though it's probably dated about 16 times in this album already. Whenever I remember to use numbers, I try to use them because I almost never actually remember to use numbers. <laughs> now, I want to use some smaller stickers for the rest of my title. I just, I thought about using those Simple Stories Snap One in kind of a watermelon color, but I decided I, I would, I am going to end up using them, but not for the particular words I'm looking for now. I instead go with these light pink Webster Pages ones. So I've got the black word this, and then the tile ones spell out is our, and then I'm going to go back to those Simple story Snap Alphas, and that's where I'm going to spell out the word first, and then finish off my title with the Petals Alphas Disney Park. If that made any sense. <laughs> Hopefully it did. So here I am. I'm taking out those watermelon colored alphas. I do really like the way they look, but for some reason I didn't I didn't want to use them all for that. It was going to be too big. I liked the differentiation of size between the smaller tile stickers and then the larger word first. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue down all of my thickers for the word Disney Park. And I do cut away from that because who wants to watch that happen? All right, now it is time to embellish. There's a lot of pattern going on in this layout. I'm going to stick to three embellishment clusters up by the smaller hot air balloon, down by the larger hot air balloon, and then over by my title. So I'm just kind of poking through, see what will work. I'm going to use some of the puffy stickers and those came from the Stargazer collection. And then I remember, oh yes, you need to do your journaling. So I'm talking about just, this is the first park we went to. I'm a planner when it comes to vacations. And especially if you're going to spend the money on a Disney vacation, I think it behooves you to do some pre-planning. Uh, in hearing people talk, they say, don't do the Magic Kingdom first because all your kids are gonna wanna do is go back to the Magic Kingdom just because it's what they're familiar with, with the princesses and all that theme -y stuff. So we went to, at the time, this was MGM Studios first. And uh, one of the other things they talk about is if you're uh, staying, it, when you first go, your kids might not realize what Disney is. So they'll be like, let's go back and go swim in the pool, which my nephew totally did. And my best friend was kind of like, internal head explosion. <laughs> like I could see it in her face. I'm like, honey, why don't we just give it an hour? <laughs> and if you still want to go back to the house, we'll go back to the house. I knew once we got into the park and he saw all the things, he would be super excited. Okay, so that was a total tangent about the story. I added some uh, puffy stickers, some enamel dots. The enamel dots are from Basic Gray, so obviously not available really anymore. And then I also added, uh, they are little epoxy stickers in uh, either button or gold rimmed. So they look sort of like a cross between an enamel dot and a Brad. All right, that is my layout for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!